Hey everybody, so here's question number five or problem number five on the week 13 quiz access. So the chapter nine and 10 quiz access. Um, and so here we have some interest bearing notes. So Keisha company borrows $205,000 in cash by signing a 180 day. So that's pretty short term, right? That's just six months, 8%, $205,000 note. And they did it on November 1st. So it's going to, they want to they want to know what date is the note mature um, the amount of interest expense um, and then uh, the, to do the want us to do the journal entries so all right so that's a number of things going on so the first one for me these are the hardest I hate these where it's like what date is it mature especially when it's like not just like a you know, assume 30 days per month. Here they want us to assume, um, what, where, where did I see it? Uh, assume February has 28 days. So uh, this probably sounds dumb to the smart people out there, but I actually make, I have to like make a little Excel uh, worksheet here. Um, so this one is November. And then I just like put a little sum here to add them up and I'd be like, okay. So for the first month, I usually don't count, we don't count the first day. So if November has 30 days in it, um, then not counting November 1st, we would say there's 29 days of interest uh, in November. Then December has 31 days. Uh, January has 31 days. February has 28. So they told us to assume March has 30. No, March has 31. And April has, uh, well, it tells us, well, we have to get up to 180. So April has 30 days. So, so this thing is due uh, April 30th. So that's kind of the process I have to go through because I think it doing that in my head for sure. So. I'm going to answer the 30th of April. Um, if there weren't so many other parts, I would actually double check first because I, like I said, I stink at those. Um, but I'm going to move on here. Um, so requirements two and three, uh, they want us to get, to figure out the amount of interest expense in the current year and the following year from this note. And so here it tells us to use 360 days in a year. Um, which could be confusing, except that means that each month we assume 30 days. And since November and December have 29, well, in our case, 29 and 31, it comes out to 60 days anyway. So it, it's going to work out, I think, for us just fine. So let's see. But once the principal amount of the loan, that's the amount they borrowed, 205000 the rate, which is 8%, know if it wants it as a 0 0.08 or, or oh no it wants it as a enter numbers only I guess they just want eight okay, this is being difficult okay yeah so it just does percentages um and then the amount of time. So in this case, um, what does it want? Okay, so it wants, uh, uh, so this is six months or 180 days. So 180 out of 360. And then it wants our total interest. So our total interest, 205, 205,000 times our rate times 180 divided by 360. Uh, so our total interest is going to be $8,200. But then it wants us to break it down into like this year, the current year, and then the next year, the following year. So if we borrow the money in on November 1st, then we're going to have 60 days during the current year. And the remaining 120 days are going to occur in the following year. Because uh, we are, we, you know, we're borrowing it for full 180, but it's 60 during this year, November and December, and then 
120 in January, February, March, and April uh, during the next year. So then we can figure out our interest um, for the current year, 205,000 times 8% times 60 divided by 360. And I think it wants, what did it say? Do not round intermediate calculations. Final answer, whole dollar. So 2733. And then there's two ways of doing this. We could just take 8200 minus 2733, or we could take 205,000 times 8% times 120. It should be the same. So So in essence, what we're saying is, hey, we're going to borrow $205,000 for 180 days or six months, um, and our interest is going to be $8,200, $2,733 of which uh, will be an interest expense during the current year, and $5,467 will be an interest expense in the next year. I'll go ahead and check my work at this point just to make sure I didn't make an error, because uh, it is easy to do. So that's all right. Let's go back and look at number one. Hey, we did pretty good. So we'll return the question and go to requirement number four. So requirement four wants us to do the journal entries. Um, the first one to do the issuance of the note, the second one, the accrual of interest on December 31st, uh, and the third one for the payment of the note at maturity. So for the issuance of the note, uh, really all we're doing when we borrow money, right, um, is our cash is going to go up. So we're going to debit cash. And our notes payable is going to go up. So we'll credit notes payable. And that's by the principal, which was 205000 Then when we accrue our interest, um, that means we haven't actually paid the interest yet, right? But we want to recognize our interest expense at the end of the year. So we're going to debit interest expense, and we're going to cred credit interest payable. And again, if we want, we can go back and sort of review the amounts. Right? Our interest expense at the end of the year is 2733 Oh, that was weird. Finally, when we go to pay the note, um, then what's going to happen is our note payable is going to go away, right? We won't owe it anymore. Our interest payable is going to go away because we're going to pay that too. And then we're going to have some interest expense for the current year. And then finally, our cash will go down because we're going to be paying the note off. So the note payable will be the amount of the whole note, which was $205,000, right? Yeah, $205,000. Our interest payable, if you remember back from our last entry, our interest payable was $2733. Oh, I guess you could just look up here. Or maybe not. And then our interest expense is going to be the amount of interest expense that we identified for the following year, 5467. Whoops, 5467. And then finally, the amount of cash we're going to pay is all of those together. So the amount of the note payable plus the interest that we accrued from last year or, and then the interest accrued in this year. So you can add that up. $213,200. Which, if we wanted to compare it, right, could, would match up with... This right here, the 8,200, 
plus the 205,000, so the amount we borrowed plus the total interest. All right, so we should be good. Let's check our work. And it looks like we're all good. So I, again, hope that was helpful to you, and I hope you have a great day.